Welcome to our fifth and final episode from this series, but this is a really important episode because we're going to talk about acids and bases. This is something very fundamental that you need to know in Chapter 2, and especially in this section called Chapter 2A, which is on just basic chemistry. Now, acids and bases begin with what is called the dissociation of water. Now, I want you to think of the word association. During association, people come together. Uh, they join together as a group. They come to meet as part of a parent-teacher association or something. But dissociation means to come apart. So really what dissociation means is to fall apart or to break apart. Okay. So what happens when, if you have a glass of water, a few molecules, not very many, 2-3%, maybe not even that much, some of those are just going to break in half and form ions. Now remember, an ion is a charged particle. It's an atom that's either an atom or a, a compound that has either lost electrons or it has gained electrons. So why don't you look over here in this picture? This shows you the chemical equation of the dissociation of water. So here's your water molecule, and when it breaks apart, it forms what is called the hydrogen ion. And remember, this one's a positive ion. That's why that plus symbol is there. And it also produces the hydroxide ion, which is a compound, an oxygen joined to a hydrogen. The hydroxide ion has a negative charge. And that's a very ugly looking negative sign, but we're going to go with it. Okay, now you see these arrows going both directions. This is a very reversible. So these things may break apart and they may form back together. And they could break apart, form back together. It's very dynamic. Okay, now over here is a picture of what's happening here. Now, and the reality is you just, you don't ever have just a hydrogen ion because a hydrogen ion is simply a proton. So what happens is that when this water molecule breaks apart, this extra proton is going to connect to this guy and it's going to form the hydronium ion, hydronium ion, I mispronounced that one. And then there's your hydroxide ion. But that's just a little extra detail. Like if you're really deep into chemistry, you're going to call it the hydronium ion. But for our intents and purposes, if you can just remember the hydrogen ion is positive and the hydroxide ion is negative, you're going to get it. Now, when we have this association of water, that can lead to two types of substances, either an acid or a base. And we're first going to learn about acids. Now, an acid is anything... <laughs> that forms a lot of hydrogen ions in a solution, okay? Now, on a pH scale, that's anything less than 7. We'll talk about the pH scale here in a little bit. Now, strong acids have a pH of 1 to 3. So, this would be like uh, lemon juice, stomach acid, etc. Those are very, very acidic. We're going to get to the pH scale in a little bit. We're going to explain that to you in a little bit better detail. All right, so let's learn about bases. A base is any substance that forms the hydroxide ion in a solution. Now remember, that's the OH, and that's the negative. Now, um, bases have a, uh, or let me rephrase this. On the pH scale, a base has a number above 7. Now, sometimes they're also called alkaline. So remember, alkaline batteries, the solution that's going to be found inside an alkaline battery is going to be a basic or a basic solution, which we'll also call um, alkaline. And sodium hydroxide is one of the most alkaline, or may rephrase this, this is the strongest base, one of the strongest bases that we have out there. It's also one of the primary ingredients in Drano, which is a drain uh, cleaner. Okay, now strong bases, such as sodium hydroxide, are going to have a pH in that 11 to 14 range. Now, now a buffer is a substance that re, uh, resists changes in pH. And these guys are really, really important for a process called homeostasis. So let's put that in there. These guys are imp important for homeostasis. Because you're going to learn later in this chapter, um, in chapter 2, that you've got to keep the chemistry inside your body constant because any disruptions can lead to some problems. And pH is really important. We need to keep the pH range in your, in your body very, very narrow because it's very important for proteins to do their job. And what happens is proteins 
often act as a buffer. Now, a lot of buffers that you're going to find out there are usually very weak acids or very weak bases. And what these guys will do is they'll absorb, like if you're a weak acid, somebody throws in a base, you're going to be able to absorb those uh, hydroxide ions. And the bases on the opposite end are going to be able to absorb the uh, uh, hydrogen ions and your pH isn't going to fluctuate very at all. So these guys are really, really important for uh, homeostasis. And a lot of the proteins in your body, they're going to act as that. All right, so let's look at the pH scale. Okay, so what is the pH scale? pH scale is a, uh, a way to measure the amount of hydrogen ions in a solution. In fact, the P stands for powers and the H stands for hydrogen. So pH comes from the powers of hydrogen. And it's based on the powers of 10. So this is a logarithmic scale. Now, the number 7 in the middle is going to be neutral. Now, what neutral means is that the concentration of hydroxide ions, I'm going to rephrase that, the concentration of hydrogen ions, and we're going to use brackets. Now, brackets come from the world of chemistry, and the brackets simply mean concentration. So I want you to make a note of this in your notes. Write this down. Brackets equal concentration. So it's going to make it possible for you to not write out this really long word that concentration is. Okay, so to be neutral, the concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to the concentration of hydroxide ions. And this is what happens in pure water. So when pure water dissociates, you're going to have equal numbers of hydrogen ions and equal numbers of hydroxide ions. Therefore, you're going to have a pH of 7, which is neutral. You're neither an acid nor a base. Now, bases are going to be just the opposite. And let's use a different color. So what's, whoops, that's the same color. So let's go down here, okay? A base, you're going to have, uh, there's a bracket, so let's do this. Now, you know what, let's, let's get rid of all this stuff since I screwed that up. Okay, so let's start this party over. And this is what happens in a base, okay? In a base, your hydrogen ion concentration is going to be less than your hydrogen uh, hydroxide. There we go. It's going to be less than your hydroxide ion concentration. In other words, you got more of these than you do of those. And that puts your pH above 7. Now in acid, it's going to be a little different, just the opposite. Your hydrogen ion concentration, remember, brackets means concentration, is going to be greater than the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution. And that's going to put your pH below. Okay. Now, as you move farther and farther away from 7, you're going to get stronger. Okay. So battery acid has, has a pH of 0. Hydrochloric acid, which is stomach acid, has a pH of 1. Now, the farther you get away from 7, the stronger you're going to be. Now remember this, powers of 10, that means something. Okay, so let's look at urine, which has a pH of 6. six. It's slightly acidic. And we're going to compare that to lemon juice, which has a pH of 2. Now, if you take 6 minus 2, you're going to get 4. Now remember, this is a logarithmic scale based on powers of 10. So if you take 10 to the 4, that's going to give you 1. And then you count your zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10,000. Basically, that lemon juice is 10,000 times more acidic than urine. Now, let's go down here to the bases, okay? Seawater, slightly basic. And we're going to compare that to drain cleaner, which is Drano, sodium hydroxide. So we've got 8 and we got 14. So 14 minus 8, that's equal to 6. So that would be 10 to the 6. So it would be a 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. 1, 2, put the commas there. So the Drano is 1 million times more basic or stronger than seawater. 
And that's how you do the math when it comes to pH. Okay, so remember these guys up here, these are the acids because it's below seven. Down here, because it's above seven, those are your bases. I want you to make sure the stuff in pink, you know, and the stuff in red that I wrote here about uh, the amount of concentrations. Remember neutral, your concentration of H plus is equal to the concentration of your hydroxides. And that's going to end this series. So good luck on your celebration and knowledge. Until our next series, catch you on the flip side.